I pranked JJ and now I can get on with building my village. He'll definitely never guess that I did it. It's just unreal. Yes, friends, I've decided to build my own little village, but I really hope JJ doesn't find it. Because if he finds it, he'll want to take revenge on me for my prank and destroy my tiny village. Soon this village will be much cooler and more popular than JJ's village. There will soon be a lot of villagers here and everyone will be just as small as me. I just have to prove to them that my village will be really, really cool. That's why I'm building so many different houses here. Yoohoo! We did it! We found Mikey's little village. We're going to destroy it now. Oh no! JJ still found me and he's gonna want to destroy the village. He came to get back at me for that prank I gave him. All right, let's get started. Today, we have a lot of personal business to do. Today, I have to work the field so I can start watching cartoons as soon as possible. We agreed to meet up with Mikey, but he had some business of his own. So, I'll finish with my work and wait for him. We'll still need to buy as many cookies as possible. I really hope he makes it in time so we can have a great time together. But I also need to work and prepare the field. It will be a new season soon enough. Great, the work is done. Now let's go home. Ouch, what was that? Was that some kind of TNT trap? But I didn't see it at all. Oh no, part of my house is destroyed and there's a huge hole here. Who would do something like that and why? I'm a little confused. Anyway, I need to find out as soon as possible and punish whoever is doing this. It's so good that I'll be able to see it all. I had cameras at my house. So let's go back home and watch the tape to see who it was. I'm very curious. Hmm, turn on the tape. Let's see who did it. Friends, look at this. It's little Mikey. He must have planted the mine. But why did he do it? I don't get it at all. Why did he get so small in the first place? Last time I saw him, he was normal sized. I don't know what Mikey's up to, but I need to find him now. I want to get back at him for what he did and put him under my feet. So I'm going to have to find him, but he's so small, I won't even notice him. That's a big problem. I need some perfect way to find him and punish him. After all, you can't do that to your friends. We need to at least plug this hole with something and come up with another plan. Wait, I have an idea. I have a dog in my house. It should help me find Mikey by scent and then I'll get revenge on him. Hey, come here. I need your help really badly. You gotta find Mikey for me. If you help me, I'll give you tough meat and bones. I know that's what you like. That's why you help me and I help you. It's all very simple and cool. I've known this dog for a long time and he can find Mikey in seconds. There's just one big downside to this dog. He's very lazy. He won't just help. So I will need to give her something to do something for me. It's going to be a very long time indeed. But friends, this is the fastest way to find Mikey. He's definitely hiding somewhere. My job is to find him as fast as possible and of course catch him to get back at him. I think he's gotten so small on purpose. That's why we're going to keep doing all this. I'll catch him and punish him for putting a landmine under my feet. That's terrible. Dog, here's your meat and bones. I really hope you'll help me this time. I really want you to really help me find Mikey so I can get revenge on him. Great, you can tell by his face and demeanor that he agrees. We'll be heading out right away. He has to catch his scent and then we can attack Mikey. All right, boy, let's do it and get Mikey. Your job is to find his scent from this village and bring me to where he is now. Then we'll get back at him and do him justice. That's why I'm going all the way. I won't give up or mitigate my punishment in any way. He went against me himself and I have to show him who the real boss is. And that's me. All right, the dog must have sensed something. We have to keep going after him. It's best not to let them get in the way of that. They know where to go and how to catch them. That's why I'm gonna trust the dog 100% so I can find Mikey. That's 100%. Anyway, he can't have gotten far. He's definitely somewhere in the village, but he could be hiding. Great, the dog must have found the trail. Now we must follow it. Mikey, you're getting very close. I will avenge you for what you've done. It's only fair for all of us. I really hope it's around here somewhere. I don't wanna to get too far away from my village, but apparently Mikey has some kind of mini base here or something. Anyway, when I find where he's hiding, I'm going to completely destroy his base. There's no doubt that he's around here somewhere, especially when the dog walks like that. I've always wondered how they see things. What does it look like? How do they find the trail? Wow, friends, look at that. I found a little village. Mikey probably built it. I'm gonna have to completely destroy it. Hey, Mikey, we see you. We've come to avenge you for what you did. Oh no, they want to destroy my village. That's the 
the worst thing that could happen. Since my dog was able to find such a village, I should thank him somehow. Listen, get these bones. You totally deserve them. That was really, really cool. In the meantime, I'm gonna think of a plan to beat Mikey. Hey guys, here I come. I got very small on purpose so I could create my own village. How well I pranked JJ and now I can get on with building my village. He'll definitely never guess that I did it. It's just unreal. Yes, friends, I've decided to build my own little village, but I really hope JJ doesn't find it. Because if he finds it, he'll want to take revenge on me for my prank and destroy my tiny village. Soon this village will be much cooler and more popular than JJ's village. There will soon be a lot of villagers here and everyone will be just as small as me. I just have to prove to them that my village will be really, really cool. That's why I'm building so many different houses here. Yoo-hoo, we did it. We found Mikey's little village. We're going to destroy it now. Oh no, JJ still found me and he's gonna wanna destroy the village. He came to get back at me for that prank I gave him. I 100% need to come up with some kind of plan to protect my village. I can't let him destroy it. It's the most precious thing I have. So, I'm going to defend myself to the very end, even if I have to fight JJ and his dog. Fine, one of the villagers in my village has a defense. Lava, spikes, and a shovel. I really hope I can protect my village from JJ with this. I'll have to dig a moat and fill it with lava. Put spikes everywhere. I need to protect my village and scare JJ away from here. It's the only way. If it still fails, I'll have to fight him myself. I don't want to do that myself, but we'll be able to do well anyway. Each of us is really doing it all for us. I have to save and help my villagers. That's the only way we can win and become number one in the villages. I want to become the best village in the whole world. In order to do that, we will have to fight. Hey, what are you betting? Are you really making a defense of your village? Exactly. I'll make it so you can't come through and destroy me. None of you will be able to get into the village. You will definitely lose this battle. Mikey did manage to protect his village a little bit. I have nothing. To get past this defense, I need special tools to start a battle with Mikey. That's the only way I'll win it. Even that won't get you through all of this, because this is the best defense system in the world. No one can ever destroy my little village. Don't even think about it. This is the best village in the world and we will fight to the very end. Dog, I don't feel like attacking Mikey right now. We need to get ready. Woo, we did it. We were able to scare JJ and kick him out of the village. But anyway, it's better not to relax. We still have to finish everything. We have to put up our defense so it can withstand all of JJ's attacks. Because sooner or later, he's bound to come back. I need a lot more spikes, a lot more lava. This is going to be really cool. Anyway, we won't really do something terrible. We're just gonna try to deal with JJ. I want to make my village exist. No one destroying it. So I'll have to make sure that none of my enemies can get in. Of course, that's also how I have to develop and build houses in my village. After all, I'm going to have an unbelievable number of villagers. They will all be just as small. We can build a small village first and then a small town. I really like that idea because I will be the king of this village and town. We'll be able to do literally anything we want. That's the biggest plus of it all. Great, now let's wait for JJ and his attack. We're gonna have a fight. Okay, friends, we have to somehow destroy Mikey's village. I don't know what I'm looking for exactly, but it's something to think about. Oh, great. There's a store here that can sell me everything I need. Look, I have a plan. Let's buy this huge rock. Since we can't get past the lava and spikes, we'll just throw this rock over the top. I just think that's just about the best idea I could come up with. Only I'll never be able to lift that rock alone in my life. I'm gonna need help. Anyway, each of us will do our best to make it through. Maybe I need to create a golem to help me with this. Yeah, that's cool too. I just have lots of diamonds at home to buy the blocks I need. In that case, I should be able to realize my plan pretty quickly without too much trouble. Only a golem would be able to pick up that huge rock and throw it. So, we need to buy the really best materials to create a strong golem. This will be the complete end for Mikey's village. I'll destroy it in one blow. Great, these diamonds should definitely be enough for everything you need for the golem. We need to move faster before Mikey puts up much more defense. That's the only way I can destroy his village effectively. I don't wanna waste a lot of energy. Anyway, a golem would be a good solution to the problem. It will do everything for me. That's exactly what I want. I just want to defeat Mikey and prove to him. And no one knows what's going to happen next. That's why we have to go first. The problem is that Mikey's really neat. He'll definitely prepare himself so that I can't get near him. The golem and the rock is a good plan. Anyway, I can 100% win and destroy them all. It's only a matter of time. I'll have to make a golem now and explain to him what needs to be done. It will be very easy. If this plan doesn't work, then I'll think of some other plan. 
I 100% have to get out and finish my revenge. There's no other way. Either way, we have to do a good job to finish it all. Fine! We've really gotten through all of this. I want to resolve all of this as soon as possible. Each of us will do our best to keep working on this situation. My dog has already helped me well, so it's time to help the golem. Each of us is really willing to go for something cool and unexpected to win, because I'm really going all out to get back at Mikey for his prank. His little village will be destroyed. I'll bring him back to my village. No more opportunities for him to create something like this. I forbid it. Golem, fine. You have understood me correctly. Now we need to throw a rock at Mikey's village. Of course, that golem with that stone will go a long way. It's very slow. The most important thing is that he gets it there and there won't be any more problems because Mikey might get in the way. He might notice it before and attack the golem. Then he won't be able to do his job and will fall. We don't want that to happen. We want to destroy Mikey's village. But to really do that would take a lot more time and effort. It's the only way we can win. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Why are you dragging a huge rock to my house? Oh no, Mikey must have noticed that. I need to protect the golem as fast as I can. I have to do everything I can to keep the golem from getting any farther. Its path is blocked. I'll hit him and that rock will fall on him. Your plan will fail. It's really unbelievably awful. Let me have my revenge and of course bring back justice. You pranked me. Oh no, Mikey hit the golem so hard that the rock fell on him. Now you have no plan to destroy my village. You'll never do it. You can totally forget about it. I am always ready to fight you for my ideals. I need to come up with another plan to destroy Mikey's village. It has to be done as soon as possible. Because the more his village exists, the more popular it becomes. Then all the villagers from my village will go to Mikey's. We can't let that happen. So I have to take matters into my own hands. I need to destroy his village myself. Then I'm taking my secret weapon. It'll be lava too. I'm gonna flood Mikey's village from above and there'll be nothing left. I'll win outright. I've got plenty of lava at home, so it won't be a shame to waste it on something like this. I'll be able to destroy his whole village with one action. No defense will help anymore, and I'll just win. I'll take the grand prize. Justice, I'm the one who must restore it. I must avenge Mikey's prank. Either way, there's no turning back. This is the real battle against little Mikey and his little village, of course. That's the most important thing we have to have. Anyway, I have to get this over with as soon as possible so I don't drag this situation out. Hey, JJ, stop flooding my village with lava immediately. I'll do anything. Just don't destroy it, please. No way. I have to flood it with lava. Then you'll definitely come back to our village. I have to destroy everything here to get back at you. That would be the right thing to do. If you continue like this, I'll have to destroy you. You're out of line. I'll remember that. I'll destroy you as soon as I get the chance. My poor village. I flooded Mikey's village with lava. He even stayed inside somewhere. This is a really big victory for me. I was able to organize everything very, very quickly. Anyway, I just destroyed his village and proved that our last one was better. Mikey, you just have to admit that you lost. That's easy. You just have to do it. Anyway, I was able to destroy Mikey's little village. Not without problems, but I did it. That's a really big win. I've restored justice. I was able to accomplish my goal. JJ, you really pissed me off a lot. That's why I'm going into battle mode. That's a little lava, Mikey. He's shooting fireballs. Once I get my hands on you, I will destroy you, blow you up. You won't be able to escape me. These fireballs can be very dangerous. You have to be careful with them. That's why I'm running home. I need something so I can beat Mikey. I need special potions to beat him. I just might have something against it. You don't have anything. I'm going to destroy you anyway and fast enough. You won't stand a chance. You have to run as fast as you can. That's the only way I won't get caught in his attack. Mikey's so small that he's hard to see. I'll have to practice against him. I need some kind of weapon to take on and defeat him. It's simple enough. The whole problem is that we really need to solve all these problems and be done with the battle. After all, the sooner we solve all of this, the better off we'll be. I hope we win. Great. Right here, I have the right potions and weapons to fight against Mikey. This is my secret basement that only I know about. We can go to the fight. JJ, come out quick. You just don't have another chance to do anything to me. I'll destroy you very quickly and prove to everyone that I'm much stronger than you. Let's fight. I'll destroy you, Lava Mikey. You can't beat me. I'll have to fight for me in this village. You'll never defeat me. We'll see about that. You don't have a chance to hit me because you can't even see me. I'm so small I can 
can do literally anything I want. You can't stop me. Mikey's right. It's really hard for me to hit him because he's small and he flies. Mikey's got a real battlefield going on here. I gotta come up with a plan. I need to lure him to me somehow and throw the potion. It should work. Because only then can I get Mikey back to normal and defeat him. I'm not afraid of you, JJ. You can't beat me with these potions. You're wrong, Mikey. I have more than just potions. I have a horn that summons rain. It will be stronger against you. Ouch, that was really quite painful. I lost my fighting form. What do I do now? That means I won and proved to everyone that I'm much stronger than you. Are you giving up, Mikey? All you have to do is admit defeat and this will be over. I'll take it all back. You'll be big again. Yeah, all right, I give up. Make me big again. I don't want to be small all the time. Yoo-hoo, I've officially won. Now Mikey has to get back big and help me clean all this up. So, you just have to wait a little while. The effect should kick in any minute now. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting better. I'm 100% big again. Now we've got to get it all out of here. <laughs>